let's take a look at this figure 7-13 and it's derating for a uh, high altitude will you install the transformer in, uh, at such an altitude as uh, 5,000 feet that you see in the drawing it shows the transformer is installed at an altitude there see of 5,000 feet the na uh, transformers nameplate we'd have 480 volt three phase be four wire 100 kva 120 uh, uh, FLA when you do your math there see now at uh, 4,290 feet it'd be approximately a 99.1 kva at 3,960 feet it'd be approximately 99.4 kva uh, at 3,300 feet it'd be approximately you know uh, 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 100 kva you're going to get the max amount of it anything at 3,300 and below now, to derate the transformer for high altitude, uh, a transformer at 3,630 feet, derate 3% for additional uh, 330 feet. So you take 100 kVA, uh, 0.3, and that'd be 99.7. So you just, uh, uh, as you see, for that 3,600, or say uh, 3,630 feet that you see in the... Uh, the mountain drawn there with that altitude. And then a transformer at 3,960 feet, then you'd have 6% there, see, because you're, uh, it's uh, two times 360. So 100 uh, kVA uh, minus 0. 0.6 is 99.4, see. So we see that is correct. That's 94, uh, 99.4 kVA, just as you see in the drawing. Now, transform at 4,290 feet, derate 9%, that'd be three times 330 feet. And then we'd have an additional 990 feet, so it'd be 100 kVA minus 0 0.9, 99.1, and you see that's just exactly in your drawing. Now, we would derate about 2% is a good rule of thumb to use at 5,000 feet and 6% at 10,000 feet. Now, uh, to, to get the quick count to see how this is derived, you'd have uh, 5,000 feet minus 3,300 feet divided now by 330 feet. So you'd have 5.1. Now, let's get the reciprocal of that number. So 1 divided by 5.1 is 0.196. Now, 5,000 feet minus 3,300 feet would be... Uh, 1,700 feet. 1,700 feet times 3% would be uh, 0.196. 1 divided by 5.1 uh, uh, one would give you, see, that one, uh, 0.196. And since you know it's 1.96, naturally you'd round it up to 2%. Now coming over to determine what the amps Reduction would be on this transformer. Step one at 5,000 feet, 2%. So 2% 2 of 120 FLA be 2.4 amp. 120 amp output minus 2.4. You could load the transformer to 117.6 amp. And that would be the loading in amps of the transformer at 5,000 feet. 117.6 amp at 5,000 feet is the solution, the answer. And that's what this figure 7-13 is illustrating. Once you get above 3,300 3, feet above sea level, you have to derate on the transformer. But notice it's, it's not the same reduction in amps that you'd have for a motor as we'll see later. Uh, transformers, uh, you don't have to derate as much. And just for your information, for every 330 feet, if you put a motor above 3,300 feet, is 1%. And after you have, say, uh, 990 feet, and you go to 1,000 foot, it's 10% you reduce the loading of the motor. Now, that's in the Stockups Generator Transformer Motor and Compressor book. And you can pick all, this in, all the information we're talking about. That is a fine book. Uh, if you deal with generators, transformers, motors, and compressors. Because not only do you get the theory and the operation, 
uh, how you would design a motor to drive a load. Uh, all those kind of things that come into play is in that book. So if, you, if this is your job, I'd recommend that you uh, get you a copy of it because uh, it pertains and has the information to so many types of design and installations that a designer and installer has to make. But this figure here, 7-13, is showing the derating for altitude and the reduction of the amps of the transformer based upon altitude.